Hey y'all, Beasley here. We're continuing our exploration of older and historic neighborhoods in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Today I'm in the Crutchfield neighborhood on the near north side. This small neighborhood nestled in between North Peoria and Utica Avenues has only six blocks between its northern and southern boundaries. I'm here at Crutchfield Park. Those of you that know this neighborhood and this park likely know it because of the 1983 S.E. Hinton, Francis Ford Coppola film, The Outsiders. More on that shortly. First, let's take a look at the hood. The neighborhood was developed between the early 1920s and throughout the 1930s, many of the area residents worked in the industrial areas surrounding this small neighborhood. Being a blue collar neighborhood, houses vary in size from 500 square feet like this 1920 home behind me, upwards of 1200 square feet for a three bedroom house. While small by today's standards, they were very comfortable for houses of the early 1900s. The south side of the neighborhood is bound by industry and the railroad tracks and the old remnants give us a glimpse of what this neighborhood was like in the 1920s through the 1940s. Due to the neighborhood's proximity to school, churches, small neighborhood general stores and job opportunities, many Crutchfield residents rarely left this neighborhood. As with many Tulsa neighborhoods of the era, you do not find garages in this neighborhood, but who needs a car when everything you need can be had within a matter of blocks from your home? Since the 1970s, many of the homes in the Crutchfield neighborhood have fallen into disrepair. Home ownership fell as many of these units were converted to rental properties. Subsequently, many of them abandoned, leaving a long-term blight in this once thriving neighborhood. Bringing new life to this neighborhood was a near impossible task. Empty lots in this neighborhood were sold at county auction for as little as $200. To tear down and remove a structure that was beyond repair would cost between four and 5,000. So the value of those properties with deficient structures was negative three to 4,000. Nobody was buying in this neighborhood. But beginning in 2012, Habitat for Humanity started acquiring property in the Crutchfield neighborhood. In the span of five years, more than 20 decrepit structures were removed and new homes constructed largely by volunteers from the Tulsa area. One of the things I really like about these Habitat homes is they are constructed in the same style and of the same size as existing homes in the neighborhood. Once improvements began, the city of Tulsa came into this once forgotten neighborhood with infrastructure improvements such as new water lines, new streets and sidewalks. In addition to the work of the city of Tulsa and Habitat for Humanity, the biggest thing to happen in the Crutchfield neighborhood in many decades came when musician Danny Boy O'Connor discovered this house in 2014. At 731 North St. Louis, this is the Curtis Brothers home from the iconic 1980s movie, The Outsiders. Like much of the neighborhood, this house had been forgotten thanks to years of hard work and Danny Boy's vision and dedication. This house has now been restored to its appearance in that movie, both inside and out. And in 2019, the house was open to the public as The Outsiders House Museum. As with many venues and event centers, 2020 was a 
very challenging year for the Outsiders House Museum. Having opened in August of 2019, only six months later in March of 2020, all events, tours came to a halt. But you can still come by, see the house, come on up, sit on the porch, take some selfies. Make sure you follow Outsiders House Museum on social media as there are occasional events on this open lawn, but those are limited. Tickets sell out very quickly, so make sure you stay on top of that. Look forward to seeing you all here at the house whenever we have somewhat of a return to normalcy. But in the meantime, let's take a walk and go see some of the other filming locations here in the Crutchfield neighborhood. I am now one block west of the Outsider House. This entire block was built by Habitat for Humanity. We did lose one house from the movie. Seen briefly as the boys return from the Admiral Twin Drive-In Theater, Johnny Cade's house sat here on the corner of Independence and North Rockford. As we walk down Rockford Street, bring your attention to this tan house. When the movie was filmed, there was no structure on this parcel allowing more room to rumble because here on North Rockford is the rumble field. From here in the rumble field, you can see how close the Crutchfield neighborhood is to downtown Tulsa as we prepare for another beautiful Oklahoma sunset. Walking only one block west of Johnny Cade's house, we are back at Crutchfield Park. First, we come to the playground equipment. This is where the jungle gym stood. Pony Boy and Johnny were hanging out here when confronted by Bob, Randy, and the other socias. And as we turn, we see this splash pad. This is the location of the fountain where the socias tried to drown Pony Boy and where Johnny killed Bob. There was not a fountain or pool here in Crutchfield. That fountain was built specifically for that scene and dismantled after the filming. Finally, as we look across the park to the northeast corner of Crutchfield Park is the spot where Dallas Winston met his demise, gunned down, his turbulent life ended in an act of suicide by cop. I hope you all have enjoyed this introduction to the Crutchfield neighborhood and brief tour of some of the outsiders filming locations in the Crutchfield neighborhood. Amongst the many things that I do here in Tulsa, I am part-time staff for Outsiders House Museum. I'm proud of the small role that I play here. I love giving the tours to middle school students during the school year and again, look forward to getting back to normal. When things do get back to normal, come on out and see us. Come have a seat at Pony Boy's desk or sit on the couch where Tommy Howell, Patrick Swayze, Matt Dillon, Rob Lowe, Ralph Macchio, Emilio Estevez, and Tom Cruise all sat. Until then, stay gold, y'all. Hey, y'all. All right. Little bonus footage uh, as we're winding down the day here in the Crutchfield neighborhood. I'm actually on North Utica, just northeast of the Crutchfield neighborhood. This old abandoned church was once the church home of Sam Kennison. Sam Kennison lived in Tulsa. Sam Kennison is buried in Tulsa. Born the son of a preacher man Sam Kennison grew up thinking he, too, would be in the pulpit. It was at this church in November of 1982 that Sam Kennison preached his last sermon. It was the very next year when he gained fame and lost religion. The home church of Sam Kennison, just outside of the Crutchfield neighborhood.